What's up you guys, Pitbull Tourers, here with my dad. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to change my oil. My dad's gonna make sure I'm doing it right so I don't mess up. It's all good. All right guys, first things first, you gotta drain your oil. I have two oil drains. No, normally cars just have one. So you gotta loosen up this bolt back here. You can't really see because the headers are in the way. I already got it um, loose like to, for hand tight. So make sure you gotta get an oil drainer. Put it right here so I don't leak the oil. Turn it sideways a little bit. And all you gotta do is just loosen up this bolt and the oil is gonna start squirting out. It's gonna be all black. Boom, see all that oil coming out? Black, your oil should look gold. Look how black my hands are. So yep, just let that drain out all the way and then we're gonna come to the other plug which is in the front of the car. Just let it drain. It's not a game, it's a red all right, so I, I drained the back um, plug so the car was leaning like that so all the oil could come backwards. Now I have a front drain plug so now my dad's lifting up the back end. Get a, uh, you know that? He's lifting the back end so now my car is leaning forward. So I'm going to drain the oil plug from the front to make sure I get all that oil out. All right, guys. So now, like I said, the car is leaning forward. There's a front drain plug to my oil pan. So I already got this um, hand, hand loosened. So now I'm just make sure I... Pull this out, make sure the oil falls in the drain plug. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. What the hell? I feel like I'm making it tighter. Oh, this way. No. Oh, man, I'm just weak, man. Yes, sir. Oh, it's gonna pop out right now. It'll be black. I'd be smooth with it. I'm not trying to get dirty. I didn't put no gloves on this one. Damn, this is a long bolt. Boom. See? Black. Your oil should be gold. This is only after like a thousand miles of driving. I just drive my car really hard. So the oil gets dirty a lot faster. High maintenance. And so after that, after you let all the oil drain, you wanna make sure you for always put the drain plugs back in because if you just fill the car with oil, it's just gonna keep on leaking throughout here. A lot of people make that mistake even though it seems very common sense, but just take your time. Don't rush through it. I start lowering the car down now so he can continue with his uh, journey on changing his own oil for the first time. So just lowering the car. We have the vicious bitches. Now we can do the drain plug, yeah. tighten them up, and uh, oil filter, and add oil, and we're done. All right, so the drain plug is back on, on both sides. I think my pop said it's about like 26. What you want to do is hand tighten the bolt as hard as you can, and then get your socket and tighten it up. How many pounds of pressure was it? Um, I think my dad said like 26 pounds or something like that. It's hard to know how much torque you put on these things because it's like everyone's has different strengths. All right, guys. Now, we got the drain plugs back in. Got to take off the old oil filter. You too. I know you're left and right, baby. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Almost knocked me out. Yeah, I'm good. I'm ready to eat. Okay. Here's the new one. Take my gloves off. This is the new oil filter. Never put it on dry. You always want to make sure you have some type of oil. This is a little trick what people do to, go, to get this one. They go like that. Lube it up. So now. There's a little bit of a little bit of lube on it, and then put the new filter on. Yeah, yeah. I 
go. Twist it to the right. Oh, fuck. I just got oil on my head. I just laying back and got oil all over my head. Gotta get dirty, boy. Gotta get dirty. Now the oil filter's on. Alright guys, got the car back down, both the drain plugs are in. Now I gotta throw the oil in, that liquid gold. I always use mobile one, 5W30. Dude, you always gotta have a funnel. We're doing this at the warehouse, first time. Pop forgot to bring the funnel, so let's hopefully I don't spill. That liquid gold. Ooh, I spilled a little bit, but it's all right. See how gold is? And when you saw it when I was draining it, that shit was black. Mm. All right, guys, so we forgot the funnel. Look at this is how you got to improvise. We put one oil in, so now we're about to cut it and make our own funnel. Can't be spilling the oil, like I said, it's that liquid gold. Ooh, you got them. That's brains right there, so smart. Okay, okay so now, hold that there. That's the Mexican funnel right here. No spillage. Ooh, 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 over the side. Yeah, let's just do it the other way. It's not it's too big. Or why don't you cut the cut the thing? Let's not get water in the motor. You got it like a dry pivot towel? Oh shit, it's gonna cut my fingers. Let me get another one. Yeah, pull it, pull it Chris, you there. wanna go get that? Yeah. It's called MOS. Nate and Kristen about to so go the get it. Alright, ready, Mook? Okay. Yeah. Alright, the first Mexican funnel didn't work. Now I gotta use the second Mexican funnel. Look, you don't even see how clean the oil is. And even sober, you like that. Yes, sir. Yeah. So I wanna apologize. My car takes about like seven quarts of oil because I got a big oil pan. The second Mexican, oh, I'm over here looking, still spilling. Well, don't go too fast. Lift it up a little bit. This spill? No, 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 that's the old one. It can't be spilling. There you go. Just push it, push it down. Oh, you recording that? You're good. You're that's that's what you need. A uh, half and half plate, chicken and beef. Gotta improvise. I think Kevin's gonna want all rice on his plate. <laughs> yes, sir. All rice. Double rice. How many we put in? So far, you go in on five. Well, plus that when you cut. Okay, you go in on six. No, plus five. Six. The best deal on oil, right? Where do you get the oil? Where do you get the oil from? Uh, Costco. No, O'Reilly's. Oh, I gotta get a snap of this. Doing an oil change. You get on YouTube. Look at how funny this little Mexican funnel was right here. Forgot the funnel at home. Got to improvise. Yep. 
turn it on real quick, turn it off to get the pressure in the motor. Let it run a little bit and you check underneath the car to make sure you, uh, no oil is leaking. Turn it off. Is he just checking if it's not spilling? Turn it off. That's how you know it was leg day. <laughs> Alright, now so we turn the car on, put pressure into the, moil, the, the motor, now you're going to check the oil. Check it out. You always want to clean it first. That's not an accurate read. Put it all the way back in. Come back out. Um, the motor oil is so clean, you can't really see it. You can see the, the oil coming right here. My oil, this is the first scratch. That means it's like pretty good level, but you want to be in between. You can't really see it. There's two little nicks right here, but I want to be right here. So I need a little bit more oil, like a half a quart. And you can see when I clean it off this rag, it's nice and clean. That's good one. All right, guys, so that was step-by-step step how I changed my oil. And to be honest, this was my first time changing my oil by myself because I'm dependent on my dad, and he just does it for me. He likes to do it. But this time I was like, let me show the people I know how because I know how. I just don't physically do it. So today I did it all by myself. And we're going to show another video on the spark plugs because this took a little bit longer. So the next video, be stay tuned to how to change your spark plugs. Turn on the car. Make sure everything running good. Yes, sir.